Langevin. Oh, wow. Terrell from outside. Oh. And Kingston, he puts it in. <laughs> Welcome to the Demand Access Right Your Own Destiny podcast. I am your host, Will Levitin. And today's special episode is going to bring you some motivation. It's going to give you a great outlook on how to be successful. It is going to give you an understanding of handling different people with different egos and maintaining it. Let's see who it is. Episode, I got my brother, Jared Terrell. I mean, he's the strongest man I've ever seen in my life. He's one of the hardest working men I've ever seen in my life. This guy, URI's finest. He goes down in the history books. Jared Terrell in the building. What's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. How's everything? How you um holding up with the these circumstances, these times we're in? I mean, man, you can imagine everybody going through it right now, but you know I'm saying but you gotta maintain, man. You gotta keep a strong mind. Keep pushing forward, man. That's all you really can do. That's right. Well, keep pushing through, keep staying safe. So the first question we got for you, man, who's Jared Terrell? Let us know. Let the viewers know who is Jared Terrell. Man, who am I, man? I'm a regular person, man. Good dude, man. You get to know me. I'm likable, man. Um, not more than a basketball player, I would say. A lot of aspects to me and the person I am. Um, but as you know, I'm a, I'm a figure in the basketball like I'm viewed as a basketball player, so that's how a lot of people see me. But mm-hmm. you get to know a lot more things you wouldn't know about me. Where you from, Jack? Um, I grew up in Weymouth for most of my life. Mm-hmm. Spent, a, spent a lot of time in Boston and the Roxbury area as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay, okay, okay. How did you stop playing basketball? How did I start playing basketball? Um, I had a basketball in my hands from. As long as I can remember, um, if you look at any basketball, if you look at any picture for me when I was younger, I more than likely had some type of basketball or some type of ball in my hand because I was always around playing, running around. But um, I started playing organized basketball around the age of six. Okay. All right. Like I, in the summer, I would do a league in Boston. So I don't know, six. Okay. And so with well, high school, like you went to two schools? How many schools did you go to in high school? I went to three different high schools. Oh, you went to three different high schools. Okay. Um, what are the high schools? Um, I went to Weymouth High School for two years. Mm-hmm. Um, transferred to New Hampton School in New Hampshire. Yeah. Did a year. And then I did my last two years of high school at Brewster Academy. All right. So now we got to Brewster Academy. And for those of you that don't know, Brewster Academy is definitely what one of the powerhouses, prep schools in the country, I'm, I would say, right? That's Okay, so what was it like? What what was it like playing for them? I mean, it's just competition on competition, man. You can imagine. So my first year, first year I got there, it was myself, Hella, Kyle Washington, Elijah Macon, Ron Patterson, mm. um, Martez Harrison, Kevin Zabo. We had some guys, man. Um, and in my second year, myself, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Devontae Graham, Isaac Copeland, Chris McCullough was on that team at one point. Jonah Bolden was on that team. Jared Ruder was on that team. We got some guys, man. And I'm assuming with those names, those mm-hmm. high high names, you guys won the championship, I'm assuming. In my first year, we actually lost in the national championship. Okay. We, won like, we won like the like the division. We won like the division championship, but mm-hmm. the national championship we lost in the game. Um, and then my senior year, we went nutty. So we we played this team, St. Thomas More. They was in our league. Um, we played at their school. One of the mm-hmm. toughest. One of the tough, It's like a raggedy old gym. Yeah, like, schools to play at. If you played if you like anybody that's played there, they know what I'm talking about. St. Thomas. Yeah. More. It's yeah. Awesome. Um. Lost the game there. I was in. I was actually suspended that game. I got in trouble at school, so <laughs> I didn't play that game. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't play that game. We ended up losing that game, and then we went to City of Palms and we lost in a championship there. And that was right before Christmas. We came back yeah. after. We ran nonstop, like nonstop. We was on that line after you know, after, you know, you know that after Christmas break after you done lost. Yeah. That game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was one of those. Boy, we didn't lose a game in 2014. 
We came back after the break. We didn't lose a game. Oh, yeah. You ran guys the table, ran the table. You guys meant business for sure. Ran the table. So those, um, how were you guys like able to like because you guys were all such big names, mm -hmm. you guys had egos. How were you guys able to like kind of come to the same kind of agreement? Like, yo, this is what we, we're here to do. We're gonna just try to win this championship. Or did it even? It was you like, like I don't know. My time being there, there wasn't any selfish guys. Like nobody was selfish. Like okay, nobody like had an ego. Nobody was. Like an asshole or none of that, but like mm -hmm. he he honest, Jason Smith just makes that shit work. He make it work. I don't yeah, know, I don't know what it is, but like he get he can get people to play together. Like there was no egos. The one thing you had to do, you had to play defense. If, if you play defense, you were gonna stay stay out there. Okay, like, we were like that's how we played. If we got to play defense, stole the ball, and then we got a whole bunch of athletic guys. You could we, if you could try to run with us if you want to. It ain't going to end well for you. Yeah, nah, I feel that. But even, I but, even in, but in but even in the half court, we got six nine, six eight, six ten, in the back line, and then we got just dogs at the guard position. So like, you could pick your so poison. Basically, yeah, basically yeah. any team they had no chance. Well, if they did have a chance, it was only like a slim chance. It was basically, slim, it was slim to none playing. Yeah, nah, I feel you. So you do you still keep in touch with some of those players? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so. Built a uh, relationship. So you're growing up, you know what I'm saying? You're playing for Brewster. Like, mm -hmm. how you yourself was you able to deal with that pressure? Like, if there's kids that aspire to be like you, go to prep school and be the best, like, how do you tell them to, like, deal with that pressure? Honestly, for me, I didn't feel pressure personally because I thought I was an underdog. I oh, still, okay. I still, like, I still do. Like, I think I'm an underdog. I think I'm overlooked. Yeah. So, like, at my time being there, I was pretty. I was trying to prove a point. Mm -hmm. Like I got overlooked. There was a lot of guys who were ranked ahead of me. Some guys on my team were ranked ahead of me. I didn't look at it that way. Like yeah. I'm trying to be better than. Him. Like obviously, I'm trying to be better than him, or I, I want to be better than him. But like, mm. it, it, I, I always had that under, like that underdog. Like they, I, everybody feels like they're better than me, so I got to prove my point. And that's yeah. how I always felt. That's how I still feel. Yeah, man, I definitely. That's just crazy. I mean, I mean, like you're yeah, with so many good players and the pressure. I mean, a lot of kids that don't make it who are as good. I mean, I mean, you could say you could you could put like this, like as as a team, there was a little bit of pressure because we had all of those guys. Yeah, but I, we like we didn't feel that pressure on like we didn't put that pressure on ourselves. We just went on a hoop. We were, like you got to think about it. We 17, 18 year old kids. Like, yeah, like, we just want we just want to go play basketball. That's where that's all it is too. It's just, just go play and just do you put it in the works, you might as well just go play. There's really no pressure. But exactly. you know, when, they, when that number comes in and you're not part of that number, it's like kids just don't really see it how you saw. It. And that's like that's definitely a, a great teaching point right there to just go play. I mean, listen, rankings don't mean anything. I mean, it looks yeah. good, it looked good. Trust me, it looks good. But you still gotta go out there and hoop, man. Yeah, for if sure. You're one, if you number one, you can still get your ass busted on any given day by the fiftieth dude, fiftieth ranked person in the country. Like, yeah, it happens. People have days. It can happen. That ranking stuff don't mean nothing. So, like, what motivated you to like go hard? Like, who motivates you to like? You gotta just like as a kid first, like growing as kid, up. As, yeah. As a kid, um, I have to say my brother. Like my father, he always like he like. He put that drive in me, but like my brother he always kept me motivated because like he was just better than he was four years older than me, but he was just better than me at everything. And yeah. like, it bothered me. And I'm a so like I'm a so loser. I don't yeah. like losing. I don't take it lightly. Yeah. And, like him always busting my ass in any sport. Like football. He was better than he's better than me in football. That, that was his sport. But like even in football, like his first year he played, he got 13 touchdowns. So I'm like, I gotta go out there and get 14, 15. So like I always had like my 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 thing was always trying to show him up and proving that I was better than him. So like that was always something that kept me motivated and kept me going. And like I, I was always looked at as Royce's little brother. Or oh, oh, that's Royce's little brother right there. Like, like yeah. oh, my my name's Jared. Like you gonna, yeah, you gonna nah. know my name. Like, you gonna know my name eventually. Like, yeah, that's for how sure. I always looked at it. Like I was always trying to reach my reach where my brother was. Now nah, I bust his ass in anything. I mean, that's how <laughs> Keep it you, work, you work hard enough. That's what happens. So now we're going into college mm -hmm. and 
discuss your first two years at the University of Rhode Island. Because I know that was some hardships right there. That was the real oh, adversity. Nah, that's when people get it messed up. There was only one rough year. There was only one rough year. My sophomore year. My okay. freshman year we came in. They were they 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 had not done well the year before, but we had pieces like yeah, me, Jov, yeah, the older guys that have been there, Biggie, Jarrell, TJ was on that team. Um then you obviously had EC, Hosh, you had Earl. Um yeah, we had we had guys, we had come in, we were we like a fresh little new team. Right? We had uh-huh. all the like Hurley had all the pieces that he wanted at the time. We just got a road win. My first year, we was like, we went 23 and 10 or something like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, okay. We, yeah, All right. We, we, we were solid. We lost in the second round of the NIT. We played at Stanford. I'll never forget that game. They whooped that ass, bro. Who they have? I don't know. Yeah. I forget, bro. They had this one little guard. He was, he was busy. Busy. He was getting <laughs> busy. I can't even lie. He was getting busy. But yeah, my sophomore year, that was the rough year. EC got hurt. Haas was hurt for the majority of the year. KI was hurt for the majority of the year. Yeah. And then it was just me and Jar pretty much trying to hold the shit together, going out on a tear. And then junior year, everybody got back for real. I think we went on a little tour. That team was stacked. Ooh. I ain't got that team. Ooh. That team was. Yeah. I'm happy I was part of that. Yeah. That team was stacked just oh, being God. in the same. Just being in the same like locker room as you, I'm like, yo, this team is stacked. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, you got some guys, man. You got some a guys. lot. It was like a one to ten. It was crazy. It was nuts. I mean, yeah, yeah, guys. I got it right, and then senior yeah, year, senior shit got put together. Which one was your favorite? Because out of the junior and the senior, which one? That's the first time somebody asked me that. Oh, because it was. My junior year or my senior year? Because I feel like when I'm watching you, because I was there, your sophomore, personally, junior, senior person, year. Personally. Yeah. I feel like your senior year, that's when you was like, yo, like. So, I'm, yeah. so this is how I viewed it. Freshman year, I was getting my feet wet. Like, I had to get the feel for it. Mm-hmm. Sophomore year, everybody got hurt. So, I felt like it was an opportunity for me to step up and just yeah. work, on, like, work on me. And then junior year, I feel like I was put, like, we pieced everything together and then the senior year I just felt like personally I felt like I was on another level. I felt like I worked the hardest that summer. Like you definitely I was, did. I, I was I was coming into my own. So I was like Yeah. I, I, I ain't had no choice but to put it together. So like yeah senior year was my best year but I felt like it started for, like sophomore year for real. Cause everything just happened for every I don't like personally everything happened for a reason. Like it was just perfect mm-hmm. timing for everything to happen. Yeah for sure. Um so you said you said your sophomore year was getting your feet wet. Do you remember what game do you remember in your sophomore year? If you can remember, that was like that was that one game you remember. Like you was doing, you was going off, you was doing it. Sophomore year. Um it might be the prov game. It might be we played prov at home my sophomore year. Okay. I played I played I I played pretty well. What about you, but, like that, but that wasn't it. I think I think my freshman year, I think it was St. Bonaventure. I think EC was out that game. Yeah. And like they were just like they they like honestly they was like pretty much just like go. Just go. Yeah. Just go. <laughs> we need some and buckets I, right and now. I, and I and I played, I had like I had like eight, I had like eighteen, I had like I had some like 18, 20 points. Like I just played an all around good game. And I, mm-hmm. that was like the first game where I like I showed myself. Yeah. In the sophomore year, I had a couple of those games. Okay. I had a couple of those games. And then junior year, senior year, obviously. How'd you feel that uh, your senior year, the C and Hall game? You was you went, oh, my gosh. For those of you, yo, search up Jared Terrell C and Hall on YouTube. You're going to see everything. He just displayed everything. I Like, your will to fight was like, it was it was crazy. I never. Girl, the thing about that game that still bothers me to this day, I had a stretch where I didn't score for a while. Like I, like I, so I had thirty, but like I didn't score for like maybe four or five minutes. But I didn't know. Like I, like I was just going with the flow of the game. It wasn't yeah. in my head. Just like keep scoring, keep scoring. Like I was just playing with. The, I was just playing the game. But I came to a huddle and Rel was like. 
I'm 30 right now. I looked up, like, oh, all this time I could have been get trying to get 40. <laughs> but I was like, I was I wasn't even thinking about it like that. But yeah. Like, it was just one of the things I looked back on. I was like, damn, I should have been more aggressive at that point. Like, which I feel but I was I was being aggressive, like just maybe a little I, bit I, more. I, 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 I took I took a, I took a break. Like I just I was just playing with the flow of the game instead of like really trying to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't regret we won the game, man. But Definitely, I think that was, we won the game, got us in the championship. Yeah, for sure. And then um, so now that year what was this? We went sixteen, was, right? Was it sixteen in a row? Yeah, we. So we. <laughs> so we we didn't lose a game at home until our last home game, senior night. We oh, got hot <laughs> as busted, my senior what? Cases. So what happened? What do you think happened that huh? day? You asking me? <laughs> I don't know. I think we just all emotional. That's what. That's what Herbie. That, that sound like Herbie. Yeah. Emotional. We just got our ass cooked. Like we like we ain't go out there with no energy. We ain't go out there trying to hoop. Like we were just on bullshit. We was walking through it like. They just had a whole bunch of energy. You know how singing night is. You won't go into a singing yeah, night. And yeah. that's you won't ruin somebody's singing night. And that's exactly yeah. what they did. Yeah. I, I, I've ruined singing nights before, but like. You definitely didn't expect it. To, you didn't expect it to happen in the year, though. Not to get 30 in the first half. Yeah, it oh, was crazy. Man. man, it was a bad game. Oh, man, that was terrible. Everybody blamed the shoes. <laughs> when we had to, oh, man, we all had to wear the, the black Adidas, the dames. Remember that? We all had to wear them. <laughs> Yo, Ty, you don't remember we that? We did wear some weak joints. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, no one was oh, able to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We wore some, we wore some terrible Dame Lillies. Like, the shoes weren't bad. It was just the colorway. We wore. The black ones with the blue Yo, lining. We wore, we wore navy blue jersey. I mean, baby blue jerseys. And black tights, black socks, and black. It was <laughs> like, what are you doing? We don't never do that. We wear whatever shoes we wanted. It was a good game. Crazy. We had to wear assigned shoes. Yeah. And then I didn't want to do that. 30 ball. Terrible. That was crazy. That was swag, nuts. Swag was terrible. The game was terrible. But uh, we still we still went far, though. I mean, even it definitely would have oh, facts. put our ranking a little higher. But you know. That get no. It really didn't matter. We had one. We had one. The, uh, the conference regular season, the game before. Yeah. So, so. I, we wasn't really tripping, but it was just the fact that we got thirty yeah. on senior night. Yeah. Like, it didn't have to do with like us winning or losing that game. It was just that's what was on season. national TV. I think I'm pretty sure it was. Sure it was. Yeah. It was so on the television. Yeah. So got Molly Watt. So now we make it to the tournament, which. Which um year did you like better? For the tournament? Like, yeah, for the March Madness. Cause we still went out on around the thirty two either my way. First year, my first year, first year. The first year, it was just the first year it's like the whole experience in it. Yeah, like it's your first time going there, it's your first time seeing it, all the antics, you got everybody there. The kids, yeah, like that's it's just like it's it's honestly a dream for real. Like People be like, yo, what does that feel like, bro? Like, imagine when you was a little kid thinking about like doing all of this and you doing it now. So, like, feel like you dreaming. Yeah. You feel me? Like, but like that first year gotta do it for me. Cause like that was my first time going there. We was in Sacramento. You was yeah. like, were you on a team? Oh uh, yeah, I was there. I was chilling. You was, you was going crazy. <laughs> I was just yeah, I was chilling. Was going crazy. You was going crazy. You was going crazy. Heck yeah, I was chilling, right, man. Right. So you already know, like. Uh, we was in, was in Sacramento, California, yeah. springtime. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's lit. It was, was lit. Crazy. It was lit. Media, was lit. food, everything was crazy. We was the underdog. We was we were like an 11 seed, but we had just came off a crazy run. We yeah. Ran through the, we ran through the, uh, we ran through the rest of the regular season. We ran through the A-10 tournament. We were just on a killing streak. Caught Creighton. They thought they was, they thought it, that we was weak. Mm -mm. Yeah, we had them. Than the Oregon game. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> now nah, we're gonna talk about it. We have to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking sure. nah, uh, like, yeah. That Oregon game. So, like, what went through yet? Like, how was that game? Like, I know that game was probably one one of the craziest games you ever been in, for sure. It had to be because there was yeah, just just because of the just because of the stage it was on and the moment. Yeah. 
Were they big? Because, I mean, they, I knew they were not as far as that, but I, <laughs> I knew they were tall. They definitely were tall, but, like, I think, like, you were playing against them. So, like, like the players you were playing, like Jordan Bell, like, he was. I mean, they, they didn't have anybody. That, they didn't have no footers or nothing like that. Like, Creighton had, Creighton had a 7 footer. They had Justin Patton. Mm-hmm. He, he, like, he, like, 6'11 for a 7 feet. Yeah. But Oregon, they just had athletic guys. They were just athletic. That Jordan Bell, he was like, he like six eight. He like six eight, six nine, but he athletic. Yeah, athletic dude. Um, and then they had scores. They had Dylan Ty- Brooks, Tyler Dorsey. Tyler Dorsey, he got off. Yo, I don't think he missed that game. He got I'm off. pretty he sure. Was cooking. No, he was cooking. He was cooking. And then they just had they had like an older they just had older experienced guys. But like, they had, they had some scores. Okay, so then now we just didn't we just didn't finish well. We like just didn't finish. I mean, honestly, it was like it was literally one rebound. We were one yeah. rebound away from winning that game. If we got one rebound, hit free throws, put that game in the pocket, and we won. We won the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that was, I was. It was like you could see the promised land, and then it was just we just got kicked out. It was crazy. I never. I was like, it was nuts. I mean, we was really right there. It's really crazy. Like sometimes you're really right there, and then honestly, it happened for a reason like that, bro. Honestly, mm-hmm. it senior, does. Year, senior year wouldn't have been as crazy if we didn't like if we didn't lose that game because we was like, we wanted you wanted to get right back to yeah, it. right back. It was like no time. We all like we were like we was like damn, but we was right there. I'm trying to see that again. We was like, yeah. we're not we're not gonna settle for nothing less. So then we get there again next year. Like, how was that for you? Like. Man, How do you feel? Honestly, the Oklahoma game, we were just on a roll. Like we we just we just knew we was gonna win. Like I, yeah, we won, like, so we lost we lost in the A ten championship, that was championship. We get on the bus, we go to the little uh, selection Sunday joint. We see them, we get Oklahoma, we like, we hype. Like, we like, yeah, like, this yeah. is exactly what we wanted. Like, we ain't have no problem. Like, we, we, we want we to smoke with them because we knew we was a better team. They had Trey Young, but we knew we was a better team overall. Like, they weren't really talented. They didn't have guys that, like, wowed you besides Trey. Mm-hmm. Everybody else was just like, we can fuck, like, we can handle these dudes if you like. Mm-hmm. If we take care of our business, we're going to be all right. And yep. That's exactly what we did. The game plan against Trey, it was – it was enough. Nigga still had whatever twenty seven. I don't know how much he had, but he did what he did. But you know what I'm saying nobody else did nothing. You, you could try yeah. to beat us alone. We got, but we had too many weapons. Too many. So I had a solid game. EC was cooking. Fats was cooking. Stan was cooking. There was Stan, all. Stan did what he did. Jarvis came up in there. Was doing. You know what what yeah. Surreal had a Surreal had a good game. Jeff was solid. Like everybody did their part. And with a team like we had, that's all you had to do. Granted, if somebody had a spectacular game and everybody still took part, we probably won yeah. by 20 or 30 points. Yeah. But, like, everybody took care of what they had to do, so we, we came up with the dub that game. And, so then, we got to, and then we got to do. <laughs> and we was going to ask. We got to do. You know what I'm saying? They just had too many. They just had, they just had too many pros, bro. Can't too many. Know. So we played Duke twice, actually. So we played Duke the junior year, and we played Duke – Senior, that game too. so which which Duke team you thought was crazier? Oh, most. So look, the they first year, six players missing, though. The first year we played Duke, right? They was missing. They was missing. <laughs> they was missing Bolden. I forget his first name, but they was missing Bolden. Harry Giles. Harry Giles and Jason Tatum was on that team. They weren't playing at the time, but we ended up. You know what I'm saying we stuck in the game. For a little bit, then like they just they just did what Duke does, and they just like got away from us. Yeah, I actually was, remember that. We lost by sixteen. It wasn't like we got dud. We got smacked. Nah, like, yeah. It was. It, was it, it wasn't a close game, but by nah, any yeah. Case, but we, could, we we stayed neck and neck. We fought. Yeah, we was at a stalemate. We was definitely. I remember. I think it was the second media timeout. We was at a stalemate. I remember it. Facts, it, facts. it was like we was, this game, was, we was in the game with him for a little bit, and then he just made a crucial timeout and he just changed everything. It was just like, yo, he just like called it. I remember 
uh, Coach K or something. Like he just switched his whole game plan, and it was just like you couldn't really. He started having Luke. Uh, what's it? The big man take up the ball. A man Jefferson. He was bringing up the ball. He was playing the point. Uh, yeah, then it just he Brown spread everybody. I yeah, I remember. Hey, I was sitting on the bench, so I remember. <laughs> I was I was attentive to that. And then the second time. So which team? You think the second team was definitely? Yeah, the team with the team with um. They have who the hell? Was it Marvin, Marvin Bagley? Yeah, Marvin Bagley. Wendell yeah, Carter. Wendell Carter. Gary Trent. Grayson Allen, Allen, the the point guard. Yeah, that team was a little. They they had dogs. So now, your college career. Who was one player that you played against? Like you will, like you will remember. Like yo, like his game. Like (laughs) it was like you respected it to the point. Was like yo, this dude. Like he's tough. College. Um. She she done played against so many good players. You can't even put against a lot of dudes. So in the A ten, Bembry, DeAndre Bembry, he was tough. St. Joe's, he was tough. Um, uh oh, done done. Um, actually, boy from uh. George Washington. Yeah, again. George Washington. Japanese. The, uh, the Asian dude? What's his name? Um, Utah, 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 Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He plays for uh, he the Grizzlies. He's a 6'9 six, six, shooter. Yeah, he, he was tough. Game. He got game. Those, those are two guys from the 8'10 uh, that, like, that brought the best out of me, honestly. Yeah. So now you graduate, and the draft is coming up. And you signed with an agent and everything. Mm-hmm. Like how like that process, like how was that process? Was it like was there now was there pressure for that? Because I remember seeing you like I remember one time you was getting ready for the draft. I you never left the gym. It was crazy. I went to the gym at like 10. I went to the gym at 10. Yeah, you was yeah, you was working out. I left. I came back at three. You were still working out. I was like, yo, this is I ain't never seen somebody do that before. You was in there. Like crazy. Like, how did it feel like when you did the draft workouts and just preparing for all of that? I mean, uh, it's just the same thing. You know, you're getting ready for the season. You're just working out. You're trying to, you're trying to sharpen your tools. You're trying to add yeah. some new stuff. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's nothing different. I mean, you prepare for something different. It's something new, but the preparation and what you do stays the same. Mm-hmm. You just gotta. You just gotta lock in. Yeah. So you don't. So you don't. You don't get drafted, but you ended up sneaking a two way. Yep. So you you found your way, even when you didn't get drafted. You found your way in there, and now you're in the league. Tell me the business of all of that. Like, how is that? So because you was in there. That's exactly what you said. It's, it's business. It's a business. Is they it's business. take everything? It's, it's business. That's it. Strict, strictly business. You can't get your feelings in there or none of that. Cause at the end of the day, they gotta they gotta eat, they gotta feed their families, and it's, it's it's about money at the end of the day. When you get to that point, but I mean, was it was it a surreal moment seeing like like LeBron or like Paul George or like those like for a second? Like did you I'm, feel I mean, for a second? I know I'm you're like, you're competitive. So I've never been like starstruck. Or anything like that. You yeah. I don't know been my like starstruck, but like there's some guys I seen and I'm like, I be thinking like, damn, bro. That's really Derek Rose right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's really D Rose right here. Bro. But like <laughs> but like but like you there, you there for a reason. So you gotta, yeah. you, gotta you gotta play the part. You got you supposed to be there, you there. Mm-hmm. You act like you're supposed to be there. Yeah, like, for sure. The, everybody, they regular dudes, everybody regular. Man. I mean they, 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 who they are, but at the end of the day, they people like they talk to yeah. you regularly. They dap, like, dap you up, say it was good. How you, how's your day? Like they keep, they keep it a hundred. They keep it real. But what was the hardest thing you had to like, like adapting from college mm-hmm. to the NBA? Like what made, like what was the hardest thing for you to? 
The speed. The speed. Oh, it's fast, yeah. huh? It's fast. Six, six seconds on the shot clock is a long. Is is like so much. It's, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. The game's so much faster. The court is bigger, bigger. right? The court's bigger. Yeah, like so. There's a lot more space. There's less time, and everybody's faster, quicker, stronger. Like. That's something that you really gotta adapt. So, to like, so that to. that saying when they say you're really on an island, like you're really on an island by yourself when you're guarding somebody, because the help defense really there isn't really that much help defense like that, because it's like more one on one predicated compared mm -hmm. to college. Definitely compared to college, because you could pack the defense. There's no defensive three seconds. Yeah, you take defensive three seconds. Now the big man got to pick a side to which lane he's on, and that can that can determine a whole bunch of stuff. You yeah, but I mean, on an island, yes, but as a team, and then your teammates, you all know, like, you're supposed to help. Like, yeah, so if, I get beat, if I get beat, you're supposed to help. Now, it's my job to not get beat, but in the case that I do, yes, there's supposed to be help, but shit happens so fast. Like, if I, make, <laughs> if I make a move and you try to help a step or two below the free throw line, and I'm at the free throw line, you're too late. That's a shot or a float. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so timing is everything, spacing is everything, like, but everything's a lot quicker, faster. The pace is so is so much different from college, but definitely you know, a lot but more. You got, but you gotta adjust to it fast, like yeah. with nobody. If you're not with it, they're gonna find somebody who is with it. Like I said, it's a business. I can only, so basically, it's, it, it, there's if you're not like signed to like a four year five deal, it's like, yo, you gotta be on point all the time because you could just even that, you not not even that. that. You oh, they'll get you. Yeah. Like, wow. That's crazy. There's somebody contract. Like, stuff happens. It's, it's part of the game. It's part of the, that's, that's it. It's just part of it. But you just got to keep working. Like, no matter what, you just got to keep pushing. Somebody will want you. That's you true. Got, if, you, if you were good enough to get there, you're good enough to play anywhere in the world. If you think about it. That is true. So what was what was the highlight? Like, you, I th what was your best game? I think it was the was it the Laker game? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Now sure. how I come on, tell me how that feel for for, for a second because you're playing in Los Angeles at on the Laker floor and you're getting buckets, and you got the old school retro Timberwolves jersey on, so you was looking smooth out there. Those are the new joints. Those are the city joints. Those are the new joints. Well, like they had the retro, you know what I'm saying? They had the, you know what I'm saying? But you was out there do, putting in your work. Like, how did it feel? But no, nah, I mean, that was just one of the moments, like, because I had no idea D Rose was going, like, he stopped playing the game. Like, he stopped playing. Like, he wasn't feeling right or something like that. Like, during, like, halftime. Mm -hmm. they were, like, they were like, JT, be ready. Uh -huh. Like, when they say that, they really mean it. Like, always be ready. Like, so like, you, like, like, like for you, you know, when like some yeah. games, it, it, it would just get ugly real quick. And yeah. There'd be two minutes left. I'm like, well, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, all right, I got to go. <laughs> yeah. Like, it could be one of those. Like, it could be one. It could be two minutes. So you could go in in the third quarter. You never know. Yeah. It just happened that I went in. I was ready. Like, so, like, your first shot. You remember your first shot at that game? All right, game, at that game, at that game. That game. So he don't play so many games, people. He don't it even. It was a three. It was a three. I had caught it. Like a big man had got caught on the perimeter or something like that. He passed it to me. A pump fake got him in the air. The shot clock was going down. I hit a buzzer beetle for the shot clock. Mm -hmm. And then once you hit that, you was like, "I, right, I'm, I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm out here." Yeah, yeah. After I hit that, everything, I, everything else. If I caught it, it was going up. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I caught I caught another one right after like right after that couple like a couple possessions later caught the next one, June went up made it, then I caught another one in the in the far corner, mm -hmm. I shot it but I missed, and I got it right back and I shot it again. <laughs> I was like, yo, I, I gotta take you like they don't you even know, say anything because you don't know when you're gonna get your next shot. Oh, for like, real? Like even, like even in college, there was times where I didn't touch the rock for maybe four or five possessions. I'm like, I'm like, at, at that point, I'm like, damn, I got to go get the rock. But where I'm at now, I can't just be like, let me get the rock. I gotta, it's like, when you I have it, you have it. You got to wait your turn. Or you got whatever, whatever they say, you got you to gotta wait your turn. You got to make something happen out of what you get. You got the rock passing me. If I got it, it was going up. Or I was trying to make something happen. In the NBA. So I had a couple turnovers, granted, but I was being aggressive. I was trying That's to make something happen. That's why you have to try. 
definitely got to try and, and don't try to do it. scary and you playing timid. If you're playing timid and you're not making that happen, then you're definitely coming out. But if you're being aggressive and you're trying to make something happen and you fucking up, that's completely different. You're fucking up. Yeah. Which isn't good, but at the same time, you're not acting scared. You're not backing off from the competition. Yeah. You're trying to go do something. Mm -hmm. Some people notice that. You might get taken out. You might not. It's just part of the game. That's what's up. So who was definitely one of the hardest players you had to guard in the league? Because I saw you play against um the Thunder when Paul George was on there. I was like, yo. Yeah. He, was, he was guarding. I was like, yo. No, I guarded Dame for the majority of the game. Dame Lillard and Ricky Rubio for me. Ricky Rubio? Yeah. What? Let's start with that first. Let's start with that first before we go into Dame. Ricky Rubio, like, what? I mean, he looked like, he look like he's slow. Oh, Rick, and, and Dennis Schroeder. I caught some of Dennis Schroeder. He, 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 he did me up a little bit. I ain't going to lie. He gave me a couple bucks. Ricky Rubio, though? Ricky Rubio, he got, bro, he got game. He, like, he, not like, not like he going to go get a bucket, mm -hmm. but he going to put you in a situation where he fuck you up. You ain't going to know what to do. <laughs> And you just <laughs> you gotta pick your poison, and he's gonna make something happen. He might not get a bucket. He might get to the he might get to the bar high and lay the ball up, but he's gonna put you in a situation where you gotta make a decision, and it's a split decision because again, you gotta make you gotta make a decision point two seconds. You gotta know what you're doing. Yeah. So he just he he manipulative like he can get to spots like he knows how to put he, like little stuff. He know how to put you on the screen. So like now you really cut on the screen. Now it's a two on one with your big, like stuff, like little stuff like that. That like it's hard mm -hmm. to it's hard to guard those things. Yeah, and like Dane Lillard just being so hurt jerky, like that like you need, like everybody know Dane, bro. Like, yeah, that's that's st that stutter shit. It's real. Like that first step, that jab. It's real. It's real. It, it, will, it will it will fuck you up. Yeah, and I feel you. I feel you on that. So and then, and, yeah, that's what's up, though. I mean, you made it up there. You, you know what I'm saying? You're doing your thing. You're a pro. It's, it's crazy because you're really a pro. Like, one of my good friends is a pro. Like, you're really a pro. You know, God bless you for that. You're definitely leading the way for Weymouth and Roxbury. You're doing your thing. So, besides basketball, there's one thing I always noticed about you that I thought was so crazy and rare. I was like, yo, I've never seen this before. Right. I literally used to call you the human jukebox because, <laughs> yo... Like, people, like, I'm serious. This man right here, he could rap any song from start to finish from any era. I've never seen that before in my life. Like, it's like once you hear a song, you just memorized everything, and then you could just rap it. Like, what? Like, how were you Like, how are you able to do that? Like, what got you into that? Because, like... I just got to think for music, bro. Like, honestly. I don't know. I just like music. I've been so, in music, like, for a long time. Like, so, I just don't know. I'm getting... I'm good with lyrics. Like, if, yeah. I hear, if I hear a song a few times or if I play it over... Especially if it's catchy, it's easy to catch the words. I'm talking about you was memorizing songs that I couldn't even like. I can memorize the like first, the fat, like the fat, like the fast pace songs. Yeah, like the I first two them. lines, <laughs> and then I was like, "Yo, this man is just going the whole time yeah, in the bus." Yeah. Who's your Who's your top five? Like, who's your top Ooh, five? My top five. Yeah. Oh uh, man, I'm doing this. Hove, Wayne, Drake, Big. That's four. Mm hmm Ho Wayne, Drake, Big. No order. No order. Ho Wayne, no Drake, Big. Uh, top five. Who's my last one? Damn. Tough. That fifth spot is always a tough one for me. Um, I got too I got too many. I got too many for my fifth. I can't do five. Right, so we'll I, stop I, right that's there. That's my four. That's my four. All right. So um what album have you been listening to lately? Like you just been going like listening to right now. Oh, he got two phones. Don't see that pro player. Don't play. One don't work. <laughs> <laughs> um what I was talking about that new Tory Lanez, I, I rock with that joint. I didn't hear it yet. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, I rock with it. Okay. Um, Forty two Doug, his album straight. Mhm. Mm Give us an album right now to listen to. The viewers should listen to. 
Like some right now, like yo, listen to this album. You're gonna listen to this album. Yeah, give us some right now. I might get crucified for this, but J Electronica. Cause like on it, cause honestly, <laughs> honestly, if you listen to it, Hove got a verse on every song. So okay. it's like if you really think about it, it's like a it's like a it's like a mixed album. That's both of them. Mm-hmm. Jay, Cause Jay on the Jay on the majority of the songs. Okay. Okay. All Lil right. Uzi, Lil Uzi joint hard. I know you a Lil Uzi fan. Yeah. Ooh, I know you was happy for that. One. That yeah. joint yeah. is crazy. I never. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. That joint's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. That I, I've been banging that all. I was, I, in, I was in Ukraine, like man, he came <laughs> different. He you was different on this joint. Yeah, he ain't even himself. Like he's just different. Lil baby joint hard. Mm-hmm. How you feel about the baby new album? I think it was too quick. I think it was just too quick. It was good, but I, it was all right. I mean, it's just too quick. I just, it was too quick. I was like, 30 minutes is like 32 minutes. I drank trash. Like, it was, it's all right. It just, I just felt like he just wanted to get something out there and just make some money real fast. It's, and my, it's, it's not all right. Well, it's, it's a bad album. It's a bad album? Yeah. Why? Like, what's, what's your, like, what makes it good? I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, okay, I'm gonna play what makes it, was, it, good? it was just too quick for me. Yeah, I, I think like I just felt like he was just trying to. He shouldn't have been nothing. Yeah, he should have just like you know. Yeah, but he knew like trying to get something out. I I don't, I don't know what he was thinking. But it's COVID nineteen, man. Nobody's not doing good. nothing. You got to get your streams. Not good. Speaking of COVID nineteen, man, everybody stay safe, man. That stay is positive. True. Stay safe. Stay prayed up, man. Everything gonna be all right. So la- time's gonna last. That is true. Tough people do though. You know it. But um, so you've been watching Netflix. What you've been binge watching? I know you've been watching. Oh no wait, that Ozark go crazy. Okay, I okay. binge watched that. I got that done in like a day. That third season, I watched that in like a day, easily. Okay. Um, so this series is called it's like it's called Waco. It's just like one season. It's six episodes. Mm-hmm. You seen it? Nah. It's called Waco. It's alright. Okay. It, it, it's it's something different. You're gonna have to wrap your mind around a lot of different stuff i mean not curse so much but yeah it's a lot of it's a, it's a lot of things people aren't used to but it's an i series i liked it okay it, all it right crazy give us one more uh damn on netflix it don't even have to be netflix just what you've been binge watching um, honestly i've been on i've been on the 2k well, actually, no, not even 2K. Time out. What did you think about the, the Jordan documentary? I, I got to ask you that. Like, did you watch the episodes? I didn't get to watch it. I was sleeping. Oh, oh! yeah. I was you know, sleeping. you saw that. What? Where is it? It's on ESPN? Yeah, it's definitely. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I keep You're seeing tweets about it. You're bugging. I said, like, I, 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 I already bugging. knew what time it was. I was just, I was asleep, bro. It was bad timing. You're bugged out. You got to see the first two episodes. It's crazy, man. It, it just kind of. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. Yeah, how I I, honestly, because I'm a big LeBron fan, but it kind of just like it just makes you feel like, dang, come man. On, come on, bro. LeBron, <laughs> my, like LeBron is my guy. Like, I've been a LeBron fan since I could yeah. remember. But Mike, they go Jordan's crazy. But Mike, bro, they have. I ain't gonna give it to you. Just as soon as you can, you best watch that. But um, get to it. I'm get to if it's it. one last thing you could say to the viewers, like one last thing you could possibly say to everyone, uh, I think I already said it, man. Just stay safe in this tough time for real. Okay, all everybody right. Stay, everybody, stay positive, prayed up, man. Be encouraging, be loving. Mm-hmm. Shout out to JT, man, for showing up on our podcast, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, like the comments, comment what do you that, like. Do that. What, you know what I'm saying? What sure. albums y'all listen to, everything. Make sure y'all pay attention to this, man. What's your Instagram handle, your Twitter? Give it to him. Uh, Twitter, B Jared Terrell. Mm-hmm. Instagram, Jared Terrell32. That's what's up, man. Thank you for coming again. God bless you, bro. We'll keep in touch. Yes, sir. Thank you. The man access. Oh, Let's get love. it. Sure, bro. Yes, sir.